let's take a look at actually adding lights into our console. If you've got a fresh console, it won't yet know what lights you wish to control. So we need to go through a process of patching to add lights in so the console knows which faders control which lights. Now, if you have RDM lights, there's a feature running in the background of the consoles called RigSync. And RigSync uses a protocol called RDM. And if your fixtures, if your lights also support RDM, this means that the console will be able to discover them and add them into your console for you, assigning them to faders without you needing to worry. So if you have RDM lights, you'll be able to get them connected to your console without needing to do any configuration. They'll automatically be detected and assigned to your faders. However, some lights do not have RDM, and sometimes you may decide you want to add the lights in manually yourself. And so to do that, we can go to Add Fixtures. Add Fixtures can be found by tapping the Setup key on your console, and then choosing Add Fixtures from the left-hand side. We can then go in and search for the fixtures we need. When we've found it, we can then go in and pick the mode. When we're searching in here, you can either use a USB keyboard and type straight in, or tap ABC to bring up an on-screen keyboard. I'm then going to click Next, and I'm then going to say how many of these I want to patch in, and I can also say the fixture number or the fader number that I want those lights to be controlled by. I can then configure my DMX settings and universe settings, and click Finish and they will get added in, and I can now see those lights in my fixture schedule. If I wish to, I could go and rename those as well. So I can then start to go in here and edit the lights. Once you've added lights in, you can tap Setup to save that, and you will then be able to see your lights displayed in your output window 